Well, the past weekend, uh, it's been reported that uh, the South Missoula National Way has been clogged with the overwhelming support of, uh, of the public. Uh, you know, bringing supplies all the way to Batangas uh, to help our brethren. And uh, it's good to know it's actually a good problem to uh, manage because, uh, well, they have an oversupply of food, but they have identified the things they actually need more. So um, I guess it's good timing for us to go on a Monday morning where everybody's, uh, I guess, more busy with uh, trying to get on with their lives and going back to work. But um, yep. They still need our help, and it's going to be quite a while before things normalize. And we're hoping, really crossing our fingers, that the situation at Taal does not escalate anymore. Okay, so uh, that turned out to be a very smooth drive at the uh, South Hotel Express Way. And I think we're at the Kalamba exit right now, but uh, we still have a lot of... Um, kilometers to go before we get to Batangas, uh, to San Jose particularly, and uh, well, this happens to be a really noble cause, and uh, you know, I'm really lauding uh, Yala Waters for doing this. Uh, we are a convoy of 30 vehicles, but we're going to come back with just 20 vehicles, because 10 of the vehicles will be left behind in the different towns of Batangas need the vehicles. Uh, Kia via Ayala Motors would be donating 10 units of the Kia K2500 or the Kia Karga. Uh, it's a people mover. It's a flexible cargo mover as well. It's uh, uh, a 19-seater uh, powered by a, a 2.5-liter inline four common rail direct injection diesel engine. And uh, uh, it, it has the capacity to carry 19 people and, or a combination of people and a lot of cargo. Very ideal and appropriate for what we're going to be doing right now. And I'm sure different towns of Batangas are going to be taking advantage and making good use of these Kia vehicles that would be um, donated by Ayala Motors. I'm going to thank you for the group of 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 the group gawin ito na ibahagi dito sa Patangas. <coughs> Hindi na dalawang isip yung mga kasamahan natin doon na talagang ibahagi ang mga dito. Uh, isa pang gusto kong uh, panggitin, dito sa relief operations, ito yung panimula. Mahaba pa ang tatahakin natin kasi alam naman natin yan na merong recovery and rehabilitation. Sabi nga natin, nag-uumpis sa palantay. At ang maasahan niya naman sa amin sa buong uh, grupo ng Ayala, eh, sama-sama tayo hanggat uh, bukas kayo sa pakikipagtulungan at uh, sa abot ng aming mga kaya, narito kami para makipagpakiisa sa inyo, makipagtulungan at sana walang bibitaw sa atin. Okay, so uh, upon reaching the uh, Batangas Main Municipal Hall, um, we now broke away. We got a four-car convoy. We got the uh, Kia Sportage sport, uh, GT line and we have what else do we have? The, the Maxxis G10 and a couple of uh, K2500s. Um, we are headed to Santa Teresita and uh, it's about an hour, 45 to an hour to from Batangas Main Municipal Hall. And what we're going to be getting, uh, what, are we, what we're going to be reaching there are uh, 200 evacuees. And then uh, we can brought supplies that would be hopefully uh, ample for the people who are going to be meeting there. So, um, yep on route and on schedule. Finally here at our destination in Santa Teresita. The residents are excited to receive their relief goods. Okay. The efforts and donations of Ayala Motors, with the help of some motoring journalists and their dealers' teams on this relief mission, serve as a shining example of the true Filipino Bayanihan spirit. Though the Taal Volcano has since appeared to have ceased with volcanic activity, the challenges it created are far from over. The total number of evacuees amount to over a million, and life for most of them will take quite a long time to go back to normal. But this catastrophe has proven that humanity prevails in the Philippines. Kapit lang mga kabayan at may mga nakahandang makipagkapit bisig sa inyo. This has been Artie for Inquirer Mobility. Hanggang sa muli.